Hello and welcome back to Snail Story Love Edition. Um, yeah, I checked my recording and now I have the code. I should have known that this wasn't for nothing, but I don't usually expect to have to input something in a visual novel, so... This is the code, S1618. Okay. Uh, enter. Ah. Great, you can pick one of these three. Um, well, we have a blue dress, so let's go with the blue. I'll go for the blue necklace. Okay, I'll bag it for you. She packages the necklace into another bag. See you again. Thank you. I'm about to slime out of the shop when I see the news on the TV behind the shopkeeper. I hold, focusing on the footage of a woman speaking. A recent report from the Chief of Staff has given us more insights on the disappearance of a high school student from Molosk High. She's not the first person from Shelltown to go missing. The Chief has revealed that during the last three weeks, a couple of other Shelltown inhabitants have become untraceable. When pressed for more answers, he chose to remain quiet. He states that more news will be released to the press as investigations continue. Stay tuned for more information. Oh my! The shopkeeper frowns. I'm not sure why the news is playing. My head fogs up from the mentioning of that news. Missing snails? Have they reported this before? It's the first I've heard of it from a news channel. Or is it? A chill runs down my shell and a memory comes to me. A memory? Kay! That voice in my head. Kay, never forget how much I love you. I know it. No. I don't want to remember this. Is there anything else I can help you with, ma'am? Oh, sorry, I kind of blanked out a bit. If you need anything else, I'll gladly help. No, that's it for now. Um, bye. Goodbye. I crawl away from the shopkeeper. What was that? It's not important. I'm not going to be a part of Shelltown soon. I'm heading straight to Marvet and the disappearing inhabitants have nothing to do with me. But... What if they do? Some shell folk enjoy eating chicken. <laughs> Most are vegetarian. Okay. After I'm done shopping, I slime back into my house. I place my stuff down, then look around, noticing the snaily tank above my shelf. Hmm? I was supposed to give them new food today. I left it at the docks. What should I do? Go back to the docks or wait for the next shift? If we have to feed them today, we surely have to to go, right? I suppose I have some hours to slime away. Plus, it's not good to leave my snailies hungry. It's a bit of a trip, but I'll take the bus back to the docks. Hmm. It's still rowdy here. I had an early shift, but I guess the workers are working through a late afternoon. I slime past the docks and toward the back office. I open the door to the office, not expecting much, when... Clarice, this is very... extraño, weird, to me. Fefe and I lock eyes. The cringe on his face deepens. What? What is this? Fefe pushes Clarice away soon after spotting me, 
then continue speaking to her. I'm sorry, but I cannot help you. She sniffles. Clarice, she's crying? When she crawls closer toward me and to the exit, she's the scowl on her face deepens. What are you looking at? I had a moment of weakness, that's all. She brushes her hand across her tear-covered cheek, then pushes past me, out of the exit. Um, did I walk into something I shouldn't have? Refe smooths his hand down his shirt. Please, do not get the wrong idea. Clarice and I are nada, nothing. She was very upset about what happened earlier. That's all. Hmm. I try and forget whatever I just saw and look around the office, distracting myself with thoughts of where I put the snaily food. I'm still curious. So, why was she crying? I think Detective Bobby said something to her she didn't like. She had no one to talk to. I am just her father's servant, but I'm not sure if she had anybody else to cry on. You felt sorry for her? A little bit, yes. Clarice is the last person I'd feel sorry for. Anyway, enough about her. She's not important. I hope we're still going for our date together. Of course we are. Why would this change anything? That's a relief. I've already decided where to bring you to. What should I say? Is it the library? Wow. Rude. Does it involve the ocean? Will I get to look into your shed? Ooh. 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 Isn't that a bit forward? Uh, does it involve the ocean? Will it be close to the sea, perhaps? It's great that you're thinking of those waves. But I will not disappoint you by coming up with something so ordinary. Besides, you are with me by the ocean so often. I'm looking forward to what you have in store. It will be a surprise. I hope you're ready. You're getting me excited. I won't let you down. Goodbye, Chica. I will see you tomorrow evening. He slides toward the exit and leaves. Okay, I'm kind of glad that they didn't make this a whole, um, like, seeing him with Clarice and then us storming out and getting the wrong picture and everything deal. Like, that's cool. <coughs> that's a way too overused. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm glad. So, now, where did I leave that snaily boot? Right here. I find it at the corner of the office. There. Now they'll be fat. I'll head back. Most shell folk travel around the town by bus. Nice. It's night time again. What an eventful day. Huh, I'm bad. Beat. Hmm? I just received a text message on my phone. I got your ooze bits this afternoon. Thanks for sending them over. So, it's a month before my surgery? 29 days to be exact. I'll let you know if anything changes. So, how is the surgery going to be like? No response. Guess he doesn't want to answer. I'll just go to sleep. That sounds fishy. I mean, even more fishy than I thought it was before with the whole Dr. X thing. But okay. It's a rainy morning. I fed my snailies after coming home last night. After that, I pretty much squished out. I did get some nightmares, however. 
Time to start a new day. I slime out of my bedroom and into the living room. Last night was rough. I hope the bad sleep didn't ruin my complexion, because I'm supposed to have a date with Jefe today. It's raining outside. It could be a sign that the date will go well. The moisture in the air should keep our feelers happy. Slime. I'm too nervous. What should I do to start the morning? Have a snail breakfast or listen to snail music? I would say both, but yeah, let's have breakfast. I crawl through the kitchen and rummage through what I have. Hmm, pancakes? Nothing like a sugar boost in the morning. Or should I go for cereal? Slippery soap. I should shop for healthier food supply soon. I decide to skip the sugar and go for last night's remaining fruit salad. Once I finish, I wash my dishes and set them aside. Hmm. I tap my feelers together. I don't have a shift at the docks, so most of my hours are free. Should I go shopping again? Slime, no. In just a month I'm not going to have a shell anymore. Buying too many sh snail clothes will be a waste. Ugh. It's going to be so strange living without a shell, with human legs. What if the humans see through my surgery? What if I won't know how to walk? I'll be out of shell town at least. I've never liked this place, not with with the nightmares, and I don't want to be with the people here. It's scary. The disappearances are making that too clear. I jolt, whipping my head toward the door. Okay, it's me. Who? The detective. Bobby, what's he doing here? Am I in trouble? Whenever he showed up at school, it was when a kid got in trouble and needed to be disciplined. I hope he's not at my house for the same reason. Well, we didn't do anything wrong, right? I opened the door, revealing Bobby. His clothes are damp, and it looks like he barely escaped the rain. There are light droplets of water on the top of his hair. Focusing on my hearing, I notice that the pouring outside has lightened to a drizzle. He glances sheepishly at me. May I come in? I nod and he crawls into my place. Sorry to bother, is this a bad time? Why does he have a bruise on his hand? Was it Clarice? He shifts his eyes, acting awkward. Why are you staring at me like that? It's making my shell tingle. Was I staring? Uh, I don't think we should reach for a talk about it. Yeah, ask about the bruise. I was just wondering about your... Oh, this? It's, uh... I got it while doing detective stuff. He pulls his glove downwards until I can't see the bruise anymore. Are you sure about that? Could it have something to do with Clarice? Nope, just slimy detective stuff. My snail senses are telling me he's lying. So, what brings you here? Can we close the door? Uh, sure. That's a strange request. He moves to the entrance and drags the door shut. Then he slams closer again. My feelers twitch, my heart pounding faster from the heavy expression he gives me. Am I catching feelings for Bobby? Okay, don't let your mind run. He 
you've already crushed on the wonderful Snailer. Now that I have your attention... Bobby's expression goes dark. He's serious. Intense. It's a side of Bobby's I've hardly seen. The times I saw him at the school, he was always cheery. Um, is someone dead? Not dead. Missing. I'm sure you've heard the news. Yeah, a few members of Shelltown have gone missing. It's not just a few. Those numbers are nothing more than a lie the chief wants to keep secret. The truth is darker, more alarming. Are you sure I'm supposed to be in on the secret? Bobby releases a deep breath. I'm only telling you this because I need you. Need me? During my investigations, I met an obstacle. It's not something I can crawl over. You can say that our operations are moving at... at snail's pace. Hmm... How many townsfolk have gone missing? Five over the last week. Five? In one week? What's happening here? Are the snails being transferred somewhere else, perhaps? If you had married to the mix, then we're looking at six snails. It's very strange. Am I suspect? Is that why you're here looking for answers? I can't help you because I don't know anything about the disappearances. No, you wouldn't. You're just a girl who graduated high school. But I think your parents might have some answers and you're connected to them. I believe you'll lead us to the answer. My body secretes more slime at the mentioning of my parents. I barely remember them. They died nine years ago in an accident. The psychologist have tried to get me to talk about it, but so far there's been a mental block. They say the reason why I'm suppressing myself so much is due to past trauma I don't want to dig up. I don't wish to talk about my parents. I'm not sure if you could tell me anything about them, even if you wanted to. I went through the case records, records and I read that you lost your memory. I flinch. I'm sorry to bring up the past. I know it's hard, but snail justice must prevail. I eye him verily. There's something you have to watch. He takes out his phone and shows it to me. The screen is already displaying a video. As he lets out a big sigh, he presses play. This is the 20th of June, year 2012. It's late in the afternoon, slightly past five. The voice is muffled, but is clearing up. Right now, it's Dr. Escargot speaking. D dad His voice breaks off, but returns again. We have been hiding the truth of Shelltown. There is a dark, sinister plan that the outsiders are plot. The sound fades again, turning into a fuzz. He keeps cutting off. Keep listening. The video plays back on. Do not trust Shelltown. We must. I hear a crashing noise from the footage. Slime, they're coming, and I don't have much time. I have a feeling that something bad is about to happen. In any case, the evidence is in my home, the lab. Find it and expose the plan. I watch intently, hoping for more answers, wanting to hear more of my father's voice. The screen turns black, the image of dad disappearing. Bobby puts the phone away. Dad? It's been so long since I've seen him. This must have been before he died. 
you looked disturbed. Where did you find this? It's in the case files of your parents. I found a CD named Funny Snail Effects that got overlooked. Most detectives didn't think much of it, but out of curiosity, I played it. I thought I was going to learn more about snailies, but got this instead. It was a grueling night. I went to your old home to search for your parents' lab. I found it, but... You just need to get to the lab, right? I barely remember my first home. That's another one of my lost memories. If it's so simple, then why do you need me? Because I can't get in there unless you help. The lab is behind a vault-like door. It's difficult to break into. It seems like you can only get in through a feeler print. We don't have your parents anymore, unfortunately. And you think my feeler print will work? It's our best shot. This is a lot to take in. I have enough problems of my own. What of my surgery? Marvard, I'm about to stop being a snail's person. I don't know if I have it in me to follow, Bo follow Bobby down the slimy trial. You're hesitating. Can you blame me? I thought I've left my past behind. If you don't confront it, it'll always come back to haunt you. You'll be safe, and we'll make the mission quick. All I need is your print to get in, and then we're out. One afternoon. I'm asking for just that. I... Please, Kay. Slime, I'm feeling so much pressure. His eyes burrow into me as he waits for my answer. Don't you want justice for snails? I've... I've never wanted to be a snail. What? Why? Well, nobody liked my shell. They said it was cracked. So you think people will like you if you don't have one? Could be. Mean people will be mean whether you have a shell or not. But there are good snails around too. Many of them are in this town. We must protect them. I don't owe them anything. Even then, you'll be a bigger person if you help them anyway. You're stressing me out. Oh, am I? You don't have to if you don't want to. But... I kind of need you, Kay. Oh, squish me. Why did he have to say that? Now he's gone and made my decision so much harder. What should I do? I mean, we have to, right? I mean, I'm curious. I'm really curious about this whole thing. So we have to pursue snail justice. Okay, I'll go with you. My pulse quickens when I answer. It's possible I might regret this decision in a, in a few hours, but my gut tells me this is right. Besides, my father started this. It might lead me to more answers about my parents. Are you sure? Of course. Why do you sound so surprised? You seem hesitant, like you're going to back out. I felt like I was about to fall out of my shell while waiting for an answer. I really, really need your help. I flash a light smile at him. Tension loosens from his shoulders. The weather is clearing up too. He appears so relieved that I said yes. So, we're going back to my childhood home? I haven't been back there in years. Right after my parents' death, Daisy brought me to this home. She used to be around me all the time. I wonder where she disappeared to. That's why 
why I'm wondering too if it's connected to all the other disappearances, maybe. I spent nine years with her. Once I leave Shelltown, there's no coming back. I lose any chance of ever seeing her again. Slam, I miss her. I sigh and return my attention to Bobby. Yes, we're going back there. I'm so relieved you said yes. We might have to stop by the gas station first. I need to be back by evening. There's a date with Hefe. That shouldn't be a problem. You'll be safe home by then. Thanks. Don't be nervous. Am I making it that obvious? It's written all over your face, sweet shell. It's as if you're about to sit for the Mollusk High Ranking exam. What should I say to that? I wasn't nervous, that was a difficult exam. Yeah, that exam had my feelers all knotted up. It was kind of stressful. Oh, that's surprising for someone who is always top of a class. How do you know that? I'm a detective. It's my job to know things. Let me guess. You aced it. Is it bragging if I said I did? I had to score well so my grades would qualify me for, Har for Marvard. Even then, it was a stretch. I wasn't sure if Marvard accepted students from snail schools. After all, Shelltown isn't part of the human world. Why am I not surprised? I always knew you were a sharp snail. Hmm, but some of your schoolmates did mention your smarts as if having them was a bad thing. Hmm. Yeah, they called me... Called you what? I look away, hating that name. It sounded so oppressive and judgmental. They called me... A snurred, a book snail, a smarty shell. Snurred sounds best of <laughs> It's okay if you don't want to share. Kids can be mean sometimes. I muster my courage. Those names shouldn't affect me anymore. I've grown into my shell now. They called me a... a... a snurred and other names. Bobby purses his lips, sending me a look of pity that makes my stomach churn. I'm so sorry they called you a snurd. That's the worst. Yeah, a s snurd. Snurd. I guess I haven't fully gotten over it. I've heard other names as well. But I don't care to mention them. I understand. As I turn my eyes up to Bobby and look at his charming face, I forget my hatred. Slime, he really wants to save the snails. He's too good for this town. For the love of snail justice, Bobby must be the most upstanding shellfolk there is. I wanted to interrupt those conversations and tell them they were being stupid. I thought that if I talked to your bullies, things would get better. The principal advised me against it, saying it would only make the bullying worse. I haven't decided whether I've made the right decision. I shift away, this conversation is getting too heavy for me. Do, do you know what those students did? than call your names? I don't want to share it. Not right now. Time to change the topic. Let's go to my dad's lab. Bobby slackens his shoulders. I won't press for your past if it tingles your shell. Thanks for that. Bobby slides toward the door. He pulls it open to allow me through and we both head toward his snail mobile. For me to confront my past. Shellfolk can switch their genders, but the process is very painful. 
It's not a long cr crawl to my mobile. I parked behind your house. You could have just parked in front, right? You do realize that's against the law, don't you? I can't be breaking rules here and there. It'll be unbecoming of my of me considering my profession. What's my reply? You've never broken the law before? I didn't realize that wasn't allowed. <laughs> I mean, with what we learned about him so far, I'm sure he's never broken the law. Uh, you can't park there? But I see my neighbors do it all the time. Do they now? Yeah, I didn't think much of it. I'm not sure about road signs since I haven't gotten my license. Traffic rules aren't exactly my field of interest. Same. <laughs> I also didn't have a license. Seems like I have something new to let the traffic department know about. Oops, did I accidentally snitch on my neighbors? My mobile's right up front. A familiar shrieking voice interrupts him. I jolt, whipping my head around when I hear Clarice. Why is she everywhere? Ugh. Bobby, are you at her place? Slime, how did she find me here? I shift my gaze sidewards towards Bobby's flustered face. She won't get off my back. Salt on the slimy stick. I, I'm sorry, Kay. I see Clarice's shadow stretching into the into the alleyway. Alleyway. Jeez. Oh, I don't know if I should do this. I can barely say anything when Bobby grabs me, wrapping his arms around my waist. He pulls me so I'm flush against his broad chest. I'm so close that I can hear his breathing clearly. The strong scent of his cologne surrounds me, sending my heart racing. This... this feeling... Bobby! What in Shelltown is happening? And there you have it, to be continued in the main game. That went on for longer than I would have thought for a demo, but it's cool, it really gives you a good understanding of what the story is uh, going to be like. Um, let's check out the snailarium for a second. Yeah, this is where we collect the snailies that we found. Normal snaily also goes by Norman. <laughs> he doesn't have any interesting hobbies. Often he questions his purpose in life and wonders what it's like to be cool. <laughs> A mood. Boy for Snaily, she wants to marry you. She will cook you a five course breakfast. If you treat her with respect and love, she'll go ooh woo. That's really cute. I like that they did the um that they made backgrounds interactive. That's a nice touch. Yeah, but this is it for the demo. As I mentioned last time, um the, the link is in the description below, so you can check out the demo yourself on itch. And uh, there's also the link to the Kickstarter. And yeah, this is it for now. I'll be sure to play the game once it comes out, but it will be a bit until then. So maybe follow the devs for any updates and make sure to sus subscribe to this channel for any more games, visual novels, what have you. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye!